Saturday, the Trojans hosted the Red Wolves to wrap up Homecoming Week festivities, and it's safe to say that this year's homecoming had a very happy ending. Trojans, and more specifically Kamani Vidal and the defense, had their way with the Red Wolves, as both sides of the ball were all one-sided towards Troy. Vidal rushed for 245 yards, three short of his record he set back in Week 1, as well as three rushing touchdowns. This performance also put him in the number one spot for the rushing yards leader in college football this season. But all of this means nothing to Kamani compared to the team and their goals. Uh, I kind of knew, like, just based off of the, how the game was going. Um, but it wasn't like, you know, our goal isn't to break records. It's to, you know, just go back to back and, um, you know, win another bowl game. And, you know, like, that it's it's – I love it, and it's important to me. But you know, it's not more than it's 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 not more than that. It's for the team. Not to be outdone, the defense who came into the game ranked 12th in the country held the Red Wolves scoreless for almost the entirety of the game before letting up a field goal in the final minutes. Arkansas State was only able to tally 47 rushing yards to their name, while having a bit more success in the air with 156 yards. Troy also breached the line for five sacks in a showing to remember for the homecoming crowd. I'll say this too, our defensive players, John, they do a great job of studying and doing extra and doing more because we're allowed four hours a day. And, you know, in the NFL, you're there with them all day. And so our guys, they, they come and do extra so well without being asked. Um, and that's when you have a chance to, to really have a great defense or team or whatever. Troy sends the Trojan Nation home happy with the final score of 37-2-3. The vote will be quiet for a while now as the Trojans head to Kansas this weekend as they are set to take on Army and won't have a home game again until the battle for the belt, which will be on November 2nd. But hey, that'll be here before you know it.